The double dip is now complete from Madison, Wisconsin, and the in-state rivals. Will the Badgers sweep their in-state rival Green Bay 9-8 to and 5-2 to in the midweek showdown? Alongside the Northwestern slugger Garland Cooper, I'm Lisa Byington. And Wisconsin won both of these games, but they had to do it in comeback fashion. They did, and this really was a battle from both sides, Green Bay and Wisconsin. But what we saw was a more seasoned, a more experienced Wisconsin team able to come back in the seventh inning, score five runs to win the first game. And then the second game got behind early and were able to come back and win that game as well. Let's take a look at how they did it in game one. To the seventh we go. It was eight to four Green Bay when this happened. The fresh and Chloe Miller, the double that scored two, Maria Gonzalez and Stephanie Peace, and that made it eight to six Green Bay. Then Ashley Van Zeeland hits into the fielder's choice, and Miller scores, and suddenly it is a one-run game. Katie Krishner, her third hit of the game, it was a big one off the wall. She had two hits coming into today. She had three in game one alone. That Mersh scored and tied it, and then Mary Massey, what do you say? The single scores Krishner, the game winner in the bottom of the seventh, and Wisconsin wins nine to eight. Heading over to game two, we begin in the fifth inning, and it is Michelle Mueller with the big shot. That was a three-run shot, and that's really all Wisconsin needed. Mueller's three-run shot giving the Badgers the lead for good there in game two, and they kept the lead. They kept the lead, and what we didn't see was a stellar performance in the circle from Taylor Page Stewart all the way around. Wisconsin really showing all of its tools, defense, pitching, and offense. And Michelle Mueller now with her 10th home run. She had a home run in game one, and you saw the one there in game two. And Wisconsin sweeps Green Bay 9-8 to eight and 5-2. to two.